In these problems, we are evaluating the determinants of 3x3 three three matrices. And you probably remember how to evaluate the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. So if you've got A, B, C, D, you multiply down here A times B, and then you multiply up and you subtract C, oops, A times D, and C times B. Uh, something similar happens with a 3x3, three three, although it's a little more complicated. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're going to have diagonals again, but there are going to be three down diagonals that we add together and three up diagonals that we subtract from that. And that's going to be our, our value for the determinant. What you'll notice, though, is I can make one full down diagonal here, but if I start another one, there's a number missing. So what I actually have to do is rewrite the first two columns of my matrix here. So like this, one, two, three, five, four, two. And now my down diagonals are all present and my up diagonals will be present too. But let's start calculating this. 1 times 4 times 5, that's 20. Plus, remember all the di down diagonals you're going to add. 5 times 4 times 3, that's 20 times 3, or 60. And 1 times 2 times 2, that's 4. So there's my down diagonals that I've added up. And actually, let's just go ahead and put those together. That's 84. Now we're going to subtract our up diagonals. So I'll start here. 3 times 4 times 1, that's minus 12. 2 times 4 times 1, that's minus 8. And 5 times 2 times 5, that is minus 50. So that adds up to minus 70. So this is 84 minus 70, or 14 for your determinant. So let me show you another method for calculating the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Actually, this method that I'm going to show you here is much more useful for calculating uh, the determinant of larger matrices. Uh, it's, it's a bit complicated for a 3 by 3, so I prefer the method we just used up there. Or, you know, if you don't have to show your work, go ahead and use a calculator or an online tool to make sure you don't make any mistakes. But this is something you should know about. It's called expanding by minors. And when you expand by minors, you can pick any row or column to do it. They're telling us here to expand by minors along the first row. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lightly strike through this first row. And then one at a time, I'm going to strike through each column. And when I strike through this first column, what you'll know is I'm, see is I'm left with uh, a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's pretty easy to determine the, the determinant of this. And that's what we do. We take the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. So that is negative 2 times negative 1, which is a positive 2, minus 1 times 3, so minus 3. So that's a negative 1. And then to get what we call the cofactor, we multiply this by a negative 1 raised to a power. And the power is based on the position of this guy, the intersection of our lines here. And by the position, I mean the row and the column. This is row 1, column 1. We add those two together, we get a 2. So this will be raised to the second power. This number is called the cofactor. And we're going to have three of these. Um, that we're going to multiply then by the entry. So you take the cofactor times the entry, and we get this special number here. So our entry is negative 2. Here we're just taking negative 1 to the second power. That's a positive 1. So this stays a negative 1. So negative 1 times a negative 2 is going to be a positive 2. So that's our first special number. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move this guy over so that this is the entry we're starting with. The position there is row 1, column 2, and our determinant is 1, I mean our matrix to figure out the determinant is 1, 1, 3, negative 1, so that's going to be negative 1 minus 3. That equals a negative 4, and we're going to raise that to the power of negative 1 to the 1 plus 2 for first row, second column third power. So that's a negative 1 times a negative 4. That's a positive 4 times the entry, which is 3. So positive 4 times 3, that's 12. So there's our second special number. Now we move this over one more. We do the same thing again. Here I've got 1 times 1 minus 1 times negative 2. So minus a negative 2. That is 3. And we're going to raise that or multiply that by negative 1 raised to the power of this entry position, which is row 1, column 3. So that's to the fourth power. That makes this positive, so the 3 stays positive. And then we multiply that by our entry, which is negative 1. And we end up with 
negative 3. And now we add all these together, and that's going to be our determinant. So 2 and a negative 3 is a negative 1 and 12. That's going to be 11. That is our answer. Now you can double check that by doing the, the method with the diagonals uh, to confirm that the determinant of this uh, matrix is indeed 11. So that's a little bit of work with uh, finding the determinants of 3 by 3 matrices. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.